Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make kind of an abstract V fan fold shirt. I'm going to start by finding the center of the shirt and drawing the V on the shirt. You don't have to do it this way. I had another design in mind and then I just kind of ditched that design and went with this one. After I had the V on the shirt, I went ahead and centered the shirt. And this process is going to go really fast, but down below in the description for this video is a link to another video which shows how to center a shirt. Essentially, I'm getting both sides of the front of the shirt right up next to each other and both sides of the back of the shirt right up next to each other. That way, whenever I apply the dye to the shirt, both sides of the front are going to look more symmetrical and the same thing for the back. Okay, so you can see the line for the V. I took it from the shoulder seam all the way down, almost totally to the hem of the shirt. What I would do is center the shirt and then draw this diagonal line on. Like I said, I had another idea in mind and then I decided to ditch that and just do this design. Now I'm gonna fan fold this line and I'm gonna hold the folds in place with some kite string. I'm going to continue on with the fan folds going up toward the neck portion of the shirt. And then I'm going to tie those with some kite string as well. I'm going to go ahead and fan fold the lower portion of the shirt too, but I'm going to do something a little bit different once I get my fan folds finished. Once I have all the fan folds in the shirt, I'm going to grab the very longest portion of the shirt that's hanging down and start to spiral it. I haven't cut my kite string off, so I'm just going to start to wrap this area with kite string as well. I'm pulling it pretty tight too as I'm wrapping it. That's kind of the nice thing about kite string is it won't leave the white lines that sinew does, but you can pull it pretty tight. It'll stretch just a little bit. Just make sure you don't pull so hard that you break your kite string. I have a link down below in the description for this video for the kite string that I like to use. I purchased mine from Ace Hardware. So I tied a lot of shirts the day that I tied this one, and by the time I came back to apply the dye, it was completely dry. I thought I would use some green colors mixed with some grays and see how that works. I use gray a lot with blue, but I don't know that I've done a lot of green and gray together. So I've chosen quite a few colors, and I'm going to alternate the greens and the grays. To make a little extra space for the shirt, I'm going to go ahead and remove my color swatches. I've placed the shirt on a metal rack and I have the rack down inside of a plastic container. I'm going to use my silicone cake molds to make myself an ice barrier around the shirt. I have a link down below in the description for where I purchased the silicone cake molds. I'm going to attach them together and wrap them around the shirt. Then I'm going to use some wooden clothes pins that I'm going to attach to my metal rack to keep the cake molds up close to the shirt. Then because the shirt is completely dry, I'm going to lightly spray it with a little bit of soda ash solution. 
This will help keep the die in place on the shirt a little bit better. Okay, so I have all of the colors listed down below in the description for this video in case you lose track of any of them. I know I'm using a lot of different colors. I'm also going to use several colors that are Dharma special order colors and you may not be able to get those from Dharma anymore except in larger quantities and if you don't want to order an enormous quantity of that color there is a Facebook group called tie-dye supplies marketplace and people purchase the special order colors from Dharma and then package them down into smaller quantities so you can usually find most of these colors on that forum. I have a link to that down below as well. Okay, so on the portion of the shirt that I fan folded, like inside the V, I'm using Kiwi from Pro Chemical, Spanish Moss from Dharma, and that's one of the special order colors, Woodland from Dye Spin, Gunmetal Gray from Dharma, Granny Apple from Dharma, San Francisco Fog from Dharma, which is another special order color, Leaf Green from Pro Chemical, Stormageddon from Dharma, which is another special order color, and Avocado from Dharma. Now in the portion of the shirt that I fan folded and then spiraled, I'm going to use a washable marker and divide that portion of the shirt into six areas. I have six dye colors left. In those six areas, I'm going to use charcoal gray from Dharma, dark green from Pro Chemical and Dye, cotton black from Pro Chemical and Dye, grass green from Pro Chemical and Dye, timber wolf from Dharma, and better blue green from Dharma. Now I'm going to add an additional sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the die and add on a layer of ice. I'm going to place the shirt aside and allow the ice to melt. After the first layer of ice melted, I did still have some undissolved dye left sitting on the shirt, so I went ahead and added a second layer of ice. After the second layer of ice melted, I allowed the shirt to process for about 48 hours before I rinsed it out. As you can see, I have pretty good color saturation on both sides of the shirt. So I started rinsing the shirt in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing in hot water to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Instead of continuing to rinse for a long time, I went ahead and soaked the shirt by adding some really hot water to my utility sink, a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent, and allowing the shirt to soak. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and I continued that soaking process until the water was remaining almost clear. Then I put the shirt along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. So now that the shirt has been washed and dried, let's see what it looks like. Okay, well, this is not what I thought it was going to be like. Not that it's bad, but... I mean, honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. I do like the colors, though. I like the gray and the green together. But the portion that I spiraled, I didn't really expect it to look like this. It just kind of looks like a messy V, like a V that wasn't exactly a V. For some reason, every time I look at it, I think of like a snake's face or a dragon's face. I don't know, it just may be the coloring. It may have to do with that part that kind of rounds off that's a little bit 
white down toward the bottom of the shirt. If you look up just a little bit, there are a couple of darker areas which almost look like the nostrils. I really don't know why it makes me think that every time I look at the shirt, but each time I do, I always think of either a snake's face or a dragon's face. So I'm not entirely sure I'm in love with this design. Like I said, I like the colors, but I probably won't do this one again. But what do you guys think? Do you like these colors together? Do you like the grays and the greens? Like I said, I'm not sure I've ever done that combination before, not just solely those two colors. And I really kind of like it. I think it looks cool. But what do you guys think? Please drop me some comments down below and let me know. And be kind. I know this isn't my favorite design either. But if you've enjoyed watching the video and watching me experiment with this shirt, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'll hit the bell, you'll receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.